faith in the power of the Bible is really important. The Bible is one of our major sources of building our faith that we're supposed to have. It's our history book, it's our manual for life, and it is the record of who and what God is. And when you access the Bible, you are accessing all the promises of God, all the future that God has for you, and that will stir your faith. It will help you to believe in God, and it will help you to understand what God is going to do in a mighty, powerful way for you and in your life. I'm talking to you about faith and the power of the Bible. So, some explanation about this. The Bible is often referred to as the Word of God, and it is one of the major sources of building our faith, believing as a Christian, because it helps us understand who God is, what Jesus did, how we should live our daily lives. The Bible is our handbook. And so it's something that we need to believe in, have faith in, and then we can understand the power of it and what that's going to mean in our lives. Because the Bible is, it's our history book, it's our knowledge source, it gives us all the information we need to know about God, and we've got to believe in the Bible because that is how we're going to understand God. We're going to need to be able to understand the Bible. We're going to need to be able to have faith in the Bible because that's going to help us have faith in our faith of Jesus Christ. And we're going to need to allow the Bible to add to our faith because it contains so much richness, so much power, so much stuff that we're supposed to do. It's got the keys of how we're supposed to live as a Christian because it is the powerful word of God. The Bible is powerful because it's written by God for you. It contains all the power of God within it. That is what the Bible is all about. So a key verse for you tonight. My key verse comes from Romans 10 verse 17. It says faith comes from hearing the message and the message is heard through the word about Christ. Hearing about Jesus, hearing about God, hearing about all of that history that goes behind strengthens our faith. That's how faith can really get added to you by knowing the truth. And the Bible is one of the best ways of doing that because it adds to our understanding about God, who he is, what his power is, what he wants you to do, how he wants you to live, how he set things out to be. So faith comes from hearing the message and the message is heard through the word about Christ. But there are a few other verses that are really important in the middle of this for us to hear about as well. Hebrews 4 verse 12, it says, The word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing the soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and the attitudes of the heart. You see, the Bible isn't just meant to be read as a book of history. It is that. The Bible is a great book of history. It's not just an, an eyewitness account of the original authors. It is that too. It's not just a one-off account of a connection to God that's supposed to be read through once, a bit like a manual, right, I've got that, done, move on to something new. No, the Bible is meant to be read with the Holy Spirit right by the side of us because it's the Holy Spirit that makes the Bible become alive, it makes it become real, it makes it become dynamic, it makes the Bible become so rich that every single time you read the Bible it's going to speak to you in a dynamic, rich and fresh way. That's one of the things that makes the Bible so powerful is that you can read the same scripture and every time you read it the Holy Spirit is going to speak to you in such an incredible way. It's filled with so many verses that are so rich from massive amounts of wisdom to all the promises of God and the history about what God is so we know what he's going to be in the future. It's an incredible book. There's just no way of getting out of the fact that the Bible is an incredible book filled with mighty power. Okay, learning. What would Jesus do? Well, 
Let me give you a little verse just to give some context. 2 Timothy 3.14, it says, But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have become convinced of, because you know those from whom you've learned it, and how from infancy you've known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. All Scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness, so the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. What did Jesus do? Well, Jesus quoted the Bible. He knew sections of it word for word. Jesus came to fulfil so much of the Bible and you know, I've read some stats over the years and just in, in researching for here about how intricate Jesus met the promises of the Bible about the save about him being the saviour and how actually it was almost impossible for those things to have taken place apart from one man called Jesus. And he came to fulfill those Old Testament promises and he did that. Jesus also believed in the Bible. He believed in what the Bible said that he was supposed to be doing. Uh, its promises. He used good hermeneutics. That's the interpretation of the Bible for himself. He didn't allow it to skew um, what the Bible was for what he wanted to do. He just simply lived by it. He let it shape his life. He acted on it and he connected with God through it because it is the truth. He knew God the Father directly. He is God and he accessed God in the same way that the Bible tells us to. So Jesus lived by the Bible, knew it, and was active in it. So steps to take, simply just believe it. Be encouraged by what God has done in the Bible. Be encouraged by what God has promised to do. I wanna encourage you, read your Bible every day, read it to know more about God, read it to know more about Jesus, read it to, because there are so many promises about what God wants to do in your life in the Bible. Read the Bible to be encouraged and stop doubting it. Do you know, there are almost no discrepancies in the Bible on anything that is important. Thousands of years after it was written, it is still a really accurate version of what the original authors had. And there's so much evidence to support everything in the Bible as being true. And there's almost no evidence to discredit the Bible being what it is. It's an incredible book in history. And a lot of people, even the historians will tell you that what the Bible says is most likely accurate because it's proven to be accurate and still is. And we need to believe that as Christians. It's an important step for us to take. So when you're reading even the wildest stories in the Bible, just believe them because so often history supports even those wild, they feel crazy stories, but that's the truth about what God does. So when you read about Noah and the flood, believe it. But learn the lesson that God wants to speak to us in it. When you read about David and Goliath, believe it. When you believe about Jesus raising the dead, believe it. When you believe about the Holy Spirit being given to you and you being able to do even greater things than Jesus was recorded as doing, believe it because it is true. The Bible is filled with massive power for you. The Bible is true. The Bible is powerful. The Bible is going to unlock your faith in God and in Jesus Christ. The Bible is accurate, it is trustworthy, it is filled with miraculous, it is valuable, it is life-giving, it is for you. The Bible is fundamentally your like day-to-day -day handbook to live out in power for all that God has ahead for you.